I want to say something about a new chatbot called ChatGPT. It was launched in November 2022 and has since become something of a social media sensation. ChatGPT has also been making headlines in the news recently because it's given some teachers and examiners cause for concern. I thought I'd take a look at ChatGPT in action and see what all the fuss was about. You can try it for free yourself on OpenAI's website. OpenAI is a non-profit organisation. It was founded in 2015 by Sam Altman and Elon Musk. Sam is still the chief executive officer. OpenAI have also had billion dollar donations from the likes of Microsoft. It only takes a few minutes to create an account and it's very easy to use, which is no doubt why it has gone viral on social media. I've already got an account, let's log in. It doesn't look like much, but I think it's the simplicity of this application which has made it so popular. Like any artificial intelligence, ChatGPT involves a set of computer programs that mimic the function of a human brain, a so-called neural network. This particular type of neural net is called a transformer. It uses an input technique called self-attention. ChatGPT was then trained using a technique called unsupervised learning with 570 gigabytes of text from the internet. The GPT in ChatGPT stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. Let's try it out. I'll start with, what are you? Are you a person? If I go to a website because I need support with something and I engage in one of those chats, I always ask, are you a real person? Let's see what it does with this. Good advice. But now this is the kind of thing that has got people worried. And I should say, that is an original story. Let's try something else. Tell me a story about a puppy. It's quite well written, I have to say. And I'll say again. This is original. I wonder what it's like with poetry. Tell me a poem about my cat called Kitty. Not bad. What about this? Tell me a story about a computer salesman in the style of Charles Dickens. I can see a little bit of Charles Dickens in there. Not bad, not bad at all. 
uh, people are starting to think as well that this could be a rival for Google. Describe a photon in words of two syllables or less. Well, that is a description of a photon, but I'm afraid particle has got three syllables. Uh, electromagnetic has got more than two syllables as well. So it's not a bad description, but I'm afraid it didn't quite do what I asked it to do. I have to say, though, I could play with this all day. Write me an essay about the evolution of programming languages. It seems to have a nice structure to it. Personally, I don't think educators need to worry too much about students using systems like ChatGPT to cheat on their homework. Earlier on, I asked it to write me some stories and nearly all of them featured a traveller or a group of travellers. You might want to watch out for that if you're a teacher. I asked for a poem about a cat and it talked about when the cat was a puppy. ChatGPT has a habit of making things up when it doesn't really know what it's talking about. Like a good student, it will try to blag its way through a test if it hasn't got a clue. However, I would expect all of that to improve with more development and more training. I'd be very interested to try this out in a couple of years' time. OpenAI said they're working on a way to help people recognise if something was generated by their chatbot, a fingerprint as it were. I don't think that's necessary. Any teacher worth their salt should recognise the voices of their own students. When it comes to machine learning and artificial intelligence, we have other things to worry about. AIs are everywhere. They control the type of content we see on social media. They track our movements in public places and they even drive our cars. AI is routinely used by law enforcement agencies to decide if somebody should be prosecuted for a crime and by judges when it comes to sentencing. If you apply for a loan or insurance, chances are the outcome will be decided by an AI. What's really worrying, I think, is that AIs are modelled on the human brain, something that we don't really understand anyway. AIs are also trained on huge datasets which have their hidden biases and prejudices. That is AI's nasty little secret. We don't really know how it works. Let's ask ChatGPT one more question. Well, you could argue it is self-aware. You should definitely give this a go. One way or another, it is very cool.